Okay, hello, welcome. 2012 Brains and Beakers at Youth Radio. I'm your host, John and Abba. Nice to see you guys. Give it up for yourself, please. Thank you for coming. So I'm interested in green chemistry, which is the uh, a branch of chemistry that's interested in making chemicals and products in a more environmentally friendly and um, healthier and safe manner. So what are some things you guys use every day? Like every day. Shampoo. 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 All what right. else? Deodorant, soap. OK, so I'm hearing a lot of things that chemists are involved in making sure are formulated correctly. They don't you know, spoil on the shelf. They have the right color, the right scent, or they work the way they're supposed to. OK, so let's segue a little into the chemistry part of this. So what is a chemical reaction? So a chemical reaction is when you have two chemicals, right? Mm -hmm. And they either turn into something or create something new. Exactly. We want to think about all of these things when we're thinking about how to make a reaction as green or environmentally friendly as possible. So one of the things I wanted to talk about specifically today are um, the colors that are in your shampoo. Um, it's a definitely a lot of ingredients inside shampoo. I don't know what it is. Would you be able to explain that to me? I don't know that I can explain all of them. It would depend on the specific ingredients. We want to be looking at creating a product that's non-toxic. We want to be using a renewable starting material. You guys may have noticed the vegetables up here. Okay, plants are ideal for using a starting material that's not going to run out in 100 or 200 or 300 or whatever many years. And we also want to look at, at doing something using a, a relatively safe solvent. So basically what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be extracting some natural dyes from these brightly colored things. Chop up a little bit of cabbage and then someone could take the spinach and crush it. In order to so let's go back to our shampoo example. Do you think this comes this color naturally? No. Yes? No. Using blueberries. All right. Blueberries. If you, if I'm, I'm looking at the, looking at the ingredient list right now. There are no blueberries in here. A, a term that we often use in chemistry, and you guys have probably heard this, is synthetic. So something that's created in a laboratory versus something that comes from nature. So there's a lot of synthetic dyes out there that are used to color food. They're used to color these kinds of products, shampoo, conditioner, et cetera. Um, and they're used to color, color uh, drugs and pharmaceuticals as well. Yes? Did you say color food? Mm-hmm. Are you using the same? I mean, they're using the same stuff to color shampoo that they're using to color food? Sometimes, yes. That's crazy. <laughs> OK, not always. So this question that, that we're asking right now, why do we put colors in our food? Why do we put colors in our shampoo? Is basically a green chemistry question. So if you guys are, are asking yourselves these kinds of questions and you are thinking like green chemists. So, so. 